I want to hear the players' perspective. H, what do you got with CeCe Sabathia and Chris Young? Well, it's not the NBA playoffs, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, here, I'm like, look at her, CeCe, I'd be scared to death of the play. Yeah, I'm right here. You got, y'all got me on the low slope right now. <laughs> I'm the shortest in the I'm crew, and I'll still though. stand this, like this six five. This still feels good. This still feels, feels good. good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's standing about seven foot. I feel six five. <laughs> five two. <laughs> Kevin Hart and uh, CC Sabathia. Kevin Hart. <laughs> no, hey, what's up, Chris? See why you good? Oh yeah, you checking oh, oh, oh. Herman with the, That's what he did, huh? All right, so let's. let's, let's <laughs> you took it a little further than I was ready to get to, but let's dive into it. Herman gets a 10-game suspension. Mm -hmm. You know, are we surprised at all? You surprised when that happened? No, I knew, yeah. he was, I knew he would get 10 games. I mean, especially because of the situation that happened in April and same umpiring crew and, you know, I mean, you, you had to know that they were going to be checking him. And so they, they checked him. him in April and they let him slide. Yeah. The same crew? Same crew. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that part. So you had to know that they were going to check him coming out of the inning and, you know, looks like it was um, rosin and, you know, alcohol or pine tar, whatever it was, and his, like he has his tootsie yeah, clearly, <laughs> clearly, clearly, whatever he had going on, he felt like it was acceptable. Because yeah. whatever he had going on in April, they let him slide with it. He was able to go into the locker room, wash his hands, yeah. and he was completely cool. So maybe he was hoping, all right, maybe it'll be the same thing. If this is unacceptable, they'll tell me I can go wash my hands. But the, as an umpiring crew, you can't let it slide twice. No. Yeah. You can't. You got to make an example well, at some point, and it was thing. so obvious. Sorry, see if I catch you no, up. I'm excited about this uh -huh. <laughs> because I swear he looked like he had tootsie rolls or something. <laughs> as soon as he wiped on his pants, you could see the brown. He was trying to hide it. I mean, yeah. but like you see why I said, though, whatever he had going on, he thought it was fine or you know, he felt like he can get right. away with because he did, it, it happened in April. The way he was shaking his hands, he knew it wasn't fine. <laughs> and he felt like this is, this is that moment that is about to go down. And he's like, I'm not going to get out of it this time. And, hey, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. You take your suspension, you keep it moving, you make the adjustment in the future, and, and you can't do nothing else about it. So how does this hurt the uh, Yankee rotation? I mean, it's, it's tough for the Yankee rotation, but I was at, uh, with Luis, Luis Severino last night at his start in Somerset. So he pitched last night on Herman's start day. So he'll be able to step in and pitch on Sunday. And, you know, it's going to be two starts for Herman. So hopefully, you know, Sevy can, you know, is built up enough to be able to step in and take those two starts. Remember, where's Waldo? Who'd CC be everywhere? <laughs> I'll be everywhere. I, I was at the start last night. <laughs> he is had Mo at the house after the game. Yeah. We did go to dinner, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So these two are coming up after the show here at 7 o'clock on the Clubhouse Edition. You'll get a lot of stuff like this going on. So let's stay in Toronto. A lot of stuff going on with that. Uh, the third base coaches and the first base coaches. The coaches are chirping about standing in the box. I think we got some video, and then mm -hmm. we'll come out and we'll talk about why coaches stand where they stand. Maybe we don't have video. Okay, let's roll right, this. I, I thought this was... I love the chirping. See, yeah, see I love about. the chippiness, especially in the division. You know what I mean? Like, these two teams have had, to, had this going on now for the last couple years. So, I mean, it's it's a division rival. Yeah, it's but as, as you look, and Harold, sorry to cut you off. We're taking turns on cutting each other off. <laughs> but you can see that third base coaches are regularly not in the box. Yeah. I mean, that box is just a point of reference of That's where. That's the Blue Jays yeah, coach, by it's, the way. It's just around the area that you want to be in. But first of all, a lot of times you're past that box because you don't want to get hit by a line drive from a big right-handed hitter. And other times you're trying to change your position when you're running on the field <laughs> to, to stay away from situations <laughs> like this. Man. But with the, with the Blue Jays and the Yankees right now, they got so much beef going on, which I love the beef that they have going on, that Every little thing that you can nitpick on, you see Booney doing it too. You see Booney oh, yelling yeah. across the field, Snyder going back and forth. They calling each other names, talking trash. Like, this is good for the game. As long as they don't take it too far, you know, continue to have this competitive edge and let your players feed off of that. And, you know, sometimes you got to piss your players off. Piss your players off. Let, let, hey, guys, we out here to whoop these dudes, but these are not our friends. We are not playing to have fun out here. We out here to take these guys out. And sometimes you need a little head bump to create that, create that energy. And it's really the only way they can get it going nowadays because you can't really throw it, guys. 
You know, before right. you could throw at guys, hit them, and then next thing you know, there might be a little brawl here and there. But I want to do something real quick. You mind running a second base for it. me? All right, CC, you come on over here and coach right. with me real quick, okay? Because I know you probably had to coach before. I'll be uh, backing up the bases. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you never hit anybody like that, did you? No. Oh, no, man. I didn't. That was, He's lucky that was. That was crazy. <laughs> and he didn't even say uh, sorry or nothing. Just step right over him. <laughs> like this. Hey, but the reason most third base coaches are down the line like this is see why I was talking about. I want to get a vantage point where I'm able to wave him in. So when they got that little box right here, stand here, this isn't Little League. You got to get down here where you can really give him a good read. So see why, uh, come on, give me a round. So I'm here where he can see me. Right there, he starts to pick me up, right? Where do you pick the coach up at if I'm here? As soon as I hit the bag. I'm, here, I'm picking you up right before I hit the bag. I'm seeing where you're at, locking in on the bag. Right at step past the bag, I'm picking you back so up. So stay right there real quick. If I come here and he's got that same principle applied, I can't help you. By the time you send me right here, we, um, we're stuck with it. We yeah. have to send me. You can't, you can't change your direction. So, if somebody bobbled the ball, so, you can't send me. So I can still get here. I'm mm -hmm. reading. I'm sending him. I say, no, no, no. And he can see me in enough time to allow him to stop without injury. Right. All right? So that's kind of a little bit on why they're not in the boxes and they're up and down. Now, hey, sometimes they do tip pitches. That's happened. You know, throughout the career, and, and maybe younger, high school, college, and stuff like that, it's kind of hard to do in the big leagues, but it has happened. But speaking of peaking and tipping pitches and stuff, take us to our final subject. Aaron Judge. Right. He peaking well, what down. What were your first thoughts of that? My, my first thoughts was that they're tipping pitches. And yeah. Maybe you're getting something from the first base coach. Maybe you're getting something from the dugout. But you're assuming that you're, you have some type of edge that you're able to take advantage of. With that being said, there is nothing – wrong with that if the other team is going to give you an edge legally you can take this edge if the pitcher is being lazy and he's showing his pitches to the first base coach that's his fault if the catcher's being lazy putting the signs out you're able to peek out there and see what sign he's putting out that is the catcher's fault that is not Aaron Judge's fault for taking it. I'm not saying this is what happened but if this is what happened yeah. it is nothing wrong with what Judge did in that situation true and, and and I think people get mixed up with so many different ways to past signs since the mm -hmm. Houston scandal, right? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, and now it's like, oh, everybody's cheating. CC, when you were pitching and you thought somebody might be giving your pitches, what'd you do? I would step off and confront them. <laughs> 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 Whoever it is, step off, confront them, or like you said, you'd be able to, to throw one tight, throw one close and let people know that, you know, or, yeah. or t tell my team, my catcher, stop setting up so early, or they can see your sign. So it's kind of on you. It's kind of on the Blue Jays. You know, they're all upset and, you know, kind of, you know, upset about what's, what's happening, but it's kind of on them to hide their own signs. It's, you know, it's, it's within the game. I love it. I'm looking forward to watching you guys. Hey. You know, when he was stepping over the pitcher, first thing I thought about, I thought you got this because you stepped over somebody. <laughs> I, just, I just wasn't sure. I love hanging out with CC with all this bling, man. These two are some of my favorite people. I can't I cannot wait to see the game. But they're not done yet, and then we're going to get them in another one. So, Adnan, back over to you, and we'll see these two a little later in the show. Sounds great, H. Great breakdown with the fellas. And, again, look forward to CC and CY momentarily.